Welcome guys to another Ask Zenla. Okay guys, welcome to this workshop. Now in this workshop, what we'll be looking at is the automated system emails that go out when someone joins a course or someone actually logs into your site. So when they sign up. So um, like for instance, uh, we have here, this is a test site here that I'm working on. And um, we have, under here if I log out let me just go to incognito that's how I can get a window to come up nicely and I'll just put in here here so uh, when someone signs into one of the courses or someone goes to member login and they put their email address and their password in there what email gets sent out to them automatically by the system now we can also turn those emails off as well so uh, the first one is a welcome email, which some people don't want. They want people to go straight into the course or join their membership inside their course. So you might be a case that you don't want a welcome email to go out or you might want to customize that email. So I'm going to show you how to turn them off and also how to customize the default emails inside of Zenla, the system emails that get sent out automatically by Zenla itself. Okay, so let's jump into here. And if we start with your dashboard, you'll be on your dashboard. We're gonna go into site and we're gonna go down to the language tag down here. And you're gonna see down at the bottom, um, remember this language area is where you can change some of the default um, words that are used in some of the pre-built uh, dynamic blocks or buttons that are on the site. But we're looking at system emails. Now under system emails down here, we can select an email that goes out automatically by the system. So you can already see that course enrollment success for free plan sends an email out. Uh, enrollment success subscription play plan with trial days. Uh, paid plans, welcome email, reset password email user role changes enroll to course manually by admin subscription cancellation notification of complete recurring payment notification of course subscription cancellation due to payment failure and notify to affiliates on commission payouts so if we just go to the first one which is a welcome email as soon as you select it from inside here select an email you're going to get uh, your default things go up like this now i'm going to just show you so how it'll appear in your inbox if you did fill it out so let's now log in as a new student and then i can show you the default mail that is sent out so i'm going to go to an incognito window and i'm on my registration page and i'm going to put some details in here so i'm just going to put in some dummy details in here and we will just register. Okay, I'm gonna click this to just make sure I'm not a robot and I'm gonna hit sign up. So now we have signed up. What you're gonna see is I have a different page set up here. Can you see that it's a different page? It says welcome member of Surf Dudes. So this is why people like to register because one, they get on your mailing list and also they can see the alternative homepage that you've set up. So if you go to homepage, you can see that for my logged in users, I have a new page called welcome members. So this is a different page to the homepage. So when they're logged in, they see this page. So they can, you can put extra content on them to get them to sign up. And they might not be buying a course at this stage, but you can then mail them because if you look at your students now, you have got them in here to be able to mail to later. So we're a little bit off topic, but that's why we would have the register for your site um, inside there. So once again, if we go and check my mail for this account now, you can see that I've got a mail come in and it's got basically the name, John Smith, which I put in there, is come to me and it's got all my information. So I can do things like 
login I can if I haven't set my password up I could go in and set my password so I've got a password reset link and it's all quite nice but you might want to customize it and this is the point of this workshop so to be able to customize it we can come down to languages and I can go to system emails now and I can go down to that welcome email that you'll see this all lines up with what's in here and you'll see that it's got personalization tags. So it's pulling in the student's name. It's pulling in the school that they're part of, which is the school that you've named it. Um, you've got the school there, the school there, the school URL, which is surfdudes.com. And you've got student's email, which they put in their role, which you can see is student. And then you've got this. And all of this stuff is here so what this means is you can actually personalize and make this your own so if i do a little bit of a sentence here uh, welcome please enjoy this site and receive the latest updates from from and then I can put personalization now I could put surf dudes in there but if I personalize it I can put the school name so I can just go there and I can click school name here so you can see I've put a personalization in there from surf dudes and then I can put something like their name in there so I can put something like their name students name please feed back if you have any problems so i've done a little bit of alteration in there now i could also stick an image in there if i wanted to so let's just go here i'll just drop this down a line uh, just by hitting there and i think i'll just put an image in maybe drop an image in here so I'll choose an image I got my little surf dude image here yeah I'm just doing this and then you can scale it back in if you like so I'll be careful with the images because you can have some problems here and I'm going to move it up to the top there and just pull this back so I've got now an image in there so now if I save this and we send it again so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that user and then re-sign up again so I'm going to go into my student role this is a good way to test it you should always be testing this stuff I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete him out so he's deleted out it's not any part of any courses if you can't delete them out it's normally because they're enrolled in a course um, so if you've enrolled yourself in course as a test student you need to go into the course and then you need to unenroll the student then you can come back and delete him out okay so now I'm deleted out I can go back in and I can resend it so we've got this one here and I'm going to delete this out so let me just delete uh, let me delete that out uh, come back to my incognito window where I can just refresh it I should be able to let's just hit the refresh button okay and I want to register for the course again so register and we're going to put the same thing in here let's put John let's put test this time I'll put that same email address in uh, just because we're testing put a password make sure they do match if they don't match it will tell you and then we can go I'm not a robot it's going to say pick a bicycles this time so we're going to go through those to pick three there and we're just going to sign up so that's going to we've we're back into the welcome page again remember like if I log out here right this is my proper home page here but when I log back in, I'm going to get that new alternative page that we've got. Yeah, I'll just do it under my account and you can see that I have the welcome page. If it doesn't jump into admin, which it has, there we go. Welcome. So that's the alternative home page that I've got set up. So let's jump in here now and have a look. We've got this message pop up now. So if I open this up, we have our lovely logo in there we have all our info and we've got this new text so we can change the emails that are sent out under languages 
down under system emails and then you can select all of them so if someone enrolls in a free plan or a subscription or reset your password user role change all of these things you can actually go in there and you can change the way that they're showing to make it suit, suit your your actual site to actually turn everything off to turn those emails off you can come into site settings notification settings and you can disable the enable welcome emails so if you mouse over this it tells you all about it system generated welcome emails for course site signups will not be automatically sent if disabled. If disabled, we assume you will be using automations to handle this. And I'm gonna do an automation video in, a, in the next workshop. And you can find the link for that downstairs, down below in descriptions because it's related to this. Okay guys.